I don't know if you know this, but Gary and I were asked uh, several times to come in and read for some of these big parts in the new show. For Cisco. Didn't we read for Cisco? We did. And I think wow. even before they brought uh, Kate Mulgrew aboard, mm -hmm. uh -huh. they, had, they had a casting change. Mm -hmm. uh, because whoever did the, the start of the show, um, right. I think, quit or something. She oh, lasted a yeah. day and a half. Wasn't that that French uh, actress? Canadian. Yeah. Canadian. Canadian. Okay. Genevieve. <laughs> yeah, Bujold, yeah. Right, right, right. So I guess you figured out that uh, television was not as easy as... <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that Genevieve Bujold? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we would go yeah. in and we'd exactly. read for yeah. the captain or, you know, I think I even read for Riker. Wow. Uh, and then I they I read that somewhere. giving me other parts, which was great. You know, it was, it was great. I Did do remember you, reading about you and, and reading for Riker, actually. Sorry, Sirach, what were you saying? Oh, I was just saying that the two of you guys uh, had so much chemistry, you know, starting off on this first pilot episode of Alien Nation. I wondered if you guys had worked together or was that just uh, something that you built on the set together? Wow. Now that's, that's Eric. If you think about that, that's the highest compliment we could receive because we just met, we just met uh, after I got cast, you right. were already cast and we, we had one day, uh, you guys got into makeup, all the tank teams got into makeup and uh, we, we went down to downtown walked around uh Alabama street or something and bus station and just just I, I think kenny johnson's idea was to uh let the actors get an idea of how they're they're looked at by by humans mm -hmm. uh and, and <laughs> the, the surprising thing about it was <laughs> we were expecting all sorts of uh, strange uh, reactions to these these sponge heads these tank the knees walking around and this and hardly anybody gave him a second glance. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is L.A. Some yeah. Yeah, and some, yeah. some weirdos. We got a lot of yeah. We got a lot of recognition that we were uh, doing a show, but there were a couple of things. One woman told her son, I think this was a Union Station. Uh, Look at that burn victim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so pathetic. Yeah. They were oh. feeling sorry for you. No, don't yeah. stare, honey. Don't stare. <laughs> They're just tank the names. Are so they? It was weird because <laughs> we really, you know, felt like you stuck out. And there were times when we were shooting in downtown L.A. Uh, where I was approached uh, in a weird way. One guy with a pocket knife and he started looking at me and he started stabbing a milk carton. <laughs> and the milk was a warning. was leaking out, you know, and I'm thinking that could very well be me. <laughs> some some was, kid. Was it soured milk, though? That's uh, right. Then, I don't know. You don't waste that. That was a good month. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good week, right? Yeah. Uh, another guy uh, said to me directly, uh, you're the ugliest person I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, don't take it personally. And then, no, and then another guy whacked me in the head. Uh, yep. There were a few things that happened. but Yeah, yeah, I remember, large, I remember uh, that. And I felt, even even though I didn't really know you then, Eric, I felt uh, a, an instant sense of protectiveness uh, about, as my part, hey, don't, don't mess with this dude, huh? Well, I, huh? and that stuff plays. Yeah. On the road. It does. it does. You know, it really does. <laughs> I'm That's taking a bath here. <laughs> you know, right <laughs> you guys, I, I was moving furniture and jerking around, and it's pretty, pretty warm here. Yeah. Everybody wow. at home, uh, yeah, Gary over here is in Maui, so he's... Uh, uh, yeah, don't feel too bad for him. <laughs> Somebody got to do it, and I stepped up. You know, I volunteered. And okay, <laughs> let it be me. But we do want to thank you, Gary, for joining us all the way out in Maui in the middle of your vacation. Really appreciate uh, that. By love the it, way. love it, love it, love it. Love you guys. So I'm happy, and I love the show, and I love Eric. Hey, but Gary. I I uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, though, we had so much fun. Uh, we laughed. It seemed like we laughed all day, every day, you know, to me, in my memory. It's amazing we got anything a film, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> it was just, you know, between the laughing and the crying, it was great. It, exactly. The times, and I remember doing takes with you, Eric, and you're, you're, a, you're, you're just a champion. You're, you're, you're a, a team player, and you don't break character no matter what. 
some a light fixture falls, so many trips, you just continue with it. And God bless you, man. That did, that was so great to work with and work off of because you just you were just rock steady. And I and and going into a scene, it's such a great feeling knowing that confidence that my partner, no matter what I give him, <laughs> well, and we'll get it quite back. often I was throwing all kinds of weird curveballs. Kenny would, uh, Kenny would, we would ask uh, Kenny Johnson, says, Kenny, how could the scene, the scene ended two minutes ago and you, and you, <laughs> you got the cameras rolling. What's up with that? He goes, well, you guys just come up with stuff that I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do. So sometimes I let, I keep it in the movie. It stays in the film. This, this shit that you guys come up with. And I go, <laughs> Well, all right. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm used to I'm used to hearing cut. <laughs> There's no cut. Just you know, till we run out of film. Um, Gary, Gary, if, capital S. Gary, if I can just go back to something you said about feeling protective about Eric, because I've been doing a rewatch the last couple of days of the show, and what, the one thing that really struck me and that I thought was so great about the writing was that Sykes was dealing with his own prejudices and trying to kind of get past them. But yet there were times when you were so protective of George just from that standpoint okay. of he's my partner, he's the man I work with. At the same time, you were still trying to deal with, with who he was and, and getting right. used to working with him. And my own innate uh, racism, if you will. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I, I, we, we sort of planned that out ahead of time. I just saw, I saw an arc. If, should we go the whole season? Or I saw an arc uh, in the that uh, along the way, uh, Matt Sykes learns some lessons about uh, absolutely about about dealing with other species in this case, and uh, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want. I didn't want to jump on the team on the good guy team right away. I wanted to drag my feet into that into that evolution into that metamorphosis. So I intentionally, you know, left them uh, le left left the rough edges in place for as long as I could, and then slowly uh, I, w I would I would be converted. And I found that to be the most organic thing about the story because this isn't something where you go from episode one to episode two and you have your prejudices that you're dealing with in episode one and all of a sudden they're gone by episode two or three. That's not really how it works. How it works is exactly what you described. And, it can't, and like I said, I'm already up to episode 13 where you're already kind of dealing with your feelings for Kathy right. as a Tanktonese woman. And it's just so beautifully done and so organic that you really feel like this is how it should be. And how the story oh, should be told. That's, that's sweet of you to say that. And that's uh, that's what we that's what we tried to do uh, as subtly as possible. Nobody wants to be lectured to. Nobody wants exactly. you know to be hit over the head with uh, this is the morale, the moral of the story. Nobody wants that. But if you can just let it sort of uh, seep into the consciousness by osmosis and, and and appear you know first time and real, that's so much the better. So.